Hey y'all, it's Tennessee Nikki. Today is Sunday and we're gonna make a meatloaf today. And I use two pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna use uh, garlic powder, seasoned salt. We're gonna use some thyme, some black pepper, and some celery salt. And we're also gonna use a half a cup of milk, um, about a fourth a cup of diced tomatoes. And what you need to do, well, what I did, you can use raw onions or green peppers and um, minced garlic. But I uh, sauteed my garlic, my green peppers, and my onions because I don't like that crunch that's in my meatloaf. Okay. And then we got two eggs that I already like whipped up a little bit. Some people use crackers in their meatloaf, but I'm gonna use uh, Italian style breadcrumbs. It makes it taste real good. And we're gonna use a little Worcestershire sauce, or if you can't pronounce it, W sauce. And we're gonna use some ketchup. Okay, let's get this party started. Let's put some seasoned salt. And just season it to your liking, about a teaspoon. And we're going to use some celery salt. You can omit this if you like. Okay. And we're going to use some garlic powder. Put that off in there. And we're going to use some black pepper. Get that off in there. Last but not least, we're going to use some thyme. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let me get me a little, let me get me a little spoon out of here. We're going to go ahead, well, let me go ahead and mix this up. Uh, season off in here a little bit before I put the wet stuff. I'm going to put a little more seasoned salt. I like to kind of see my season a little bit. A little more seasoned salt. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put our sauteed green peppers and onions and uh, minced garlic. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. That smells good. I love sauteed vegetables. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put our two eggs. And this is real easy, y'all. It don't take no time at all. We're gonna go ahead and put this diced tomatoes. And the kind I have is the fire roasted diced tomatoes. Okay, get that mixed in. In a second, I'm gonna go in with my hands. I already washed my hands, y'all. Don't come for me, please. Okay. And we're gonna put a little milk. Well, let's put some Worcestershire sauce in here first. We're gonna put about two tablespoons. Okay. About the same for the ketchup. All right. That mixed in. We're gonna put a little milk in. It's gonna keep it moist while it's cooking in that oven. Ain't nothing like a hard meatloaf, y'all. You could throw that thing against the wall, crack that thing. Okay. Right, get off in that bowl. Let's let them see what we're working with. Okay. We're going to use this breadcrumb. Put that off in there. And I'll clean my hands, y'all. Just going to 
Get this off in here real good. Work this in here. Hold on. Some more in there. Yeah, some people like put a sleeve of crackers in here, but I like the uh, the taste of the Italian breadcrumbs. Kind of work out the same way. But it just have a little more flavor to it. Get mixed in. Them seasons smell good together. Okay. I just want a little bit more. You want it to start taking form and getting its own little shape so when you get ready to form that loaf, it be perfect. See what I'm saying? Okay. All right, give me a pan. I'm gonna dump this off in the pan. And we're gonna start forming that meatloaf. You can form it however you want to form it. Okay. Get it cute, girl, get it cute. It look kind of like a little boat, you know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, get out of that pan so they can see. Okay. And our next step we're gonna do, hold on just a second, let me wash my hands a little bit. Y'all, it's supposed to rain today. We had a beautiful day yesterday, and it's supposed to storm today. But it's our Nashville weather. You know, it do the, it do those kind of things to us. Okay, now in this bowl, I put like a half a cup of barbecue sauce, some sweet honey barbecue sauce, and I put like two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and like two tablespoons, no, about a fourth a cup of ketchup. Sorry, y'all. Mix that in there good. And we're gonna pour that on there. And if you don't like uh, barbecue sauce on your meatloaf, you can use tomato sauce or whatever. Whatever you like. Okay. Y'all, we're gonna put this in the oven and let that cook. And uh, we're gonna let it uh, sit also so you know we can get ready to cut it up for you and plate it. And I'm gonna have it plated for y'all when we come back. But we're gonna put it, we're gonna uh, heat the oven up to 350 and put that in the oven and let that cook. And first of all, hold on, wait a minute. We're gonna put a little bit of beef broth at the bottom of your pan. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm spilling some. But it helps keep the moisture also. Just put a little bit. It's gonna make its own juices also. But I like to put a little beef broth. Yeah, I don't know. This tight look. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven, let that cook, and I'm gonna come back with y'all, show y'all the finished results and how it looks plated and everything, okay? I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back, and this is the finished product of the meatloaf. This is how it came out. And I meant to tell y'all, I probably didn't tell you before, 
um, you put your oven on 350 and you cook it for about an hour. And also with the meatloaf, I usually put a pack of onion soup mix in it when I cook the meatloaf. You can do that or you can opt out. But I didn't put it in this time. And I also put in some um, cabbage and potatoes and corn on the cob. So this is it, y'all. It was a real quick meal. Meatloaf, cabbage and potatoes, and corn on the cob. And I probably put some Hawaiian rolls with that. Yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and make sure you tell your friends and share this video. And again, y'all, y'all can make this for next Sunday. It's a real easy, fast. It'll probably take a couple of minutes to put it together. And then another hour just to cook it in the oven. But that's all, y'all. I hope y'all have a great Sunday. I love y'all. Be safe.